Uh, Mike Pompeo apparently yelled at a fucking NPR journalist. Like, he, like, screamed at her and shit. I read that headline and I was like, oh, man, this is going to be real fucking juicy. This is going to be real fucking juicy. And it is, you guys. It's real fucking juicy. Oh, my God. And if the roads get better, I'll tell you about it. If, if we can allocate budget to fix the infrastructure of the country where the quote-unquote greatest city on earth can have a better highway cr- coming around it, I'll be able to talk to you about it. <sighs> Fucking Alabama has better highways than this shit. Like, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Um, I'm getting salty over this. I'm sorry. I feel bad. Okay. All right. Final story. Here we go. Mike Pompeo screaming at an NPR reporter. So here's what happened. Uh, Mary Louise, uh, she asked Pompeo about uh, defending one of the Ukrainian um, dignitaries or something along those lines. Uh, Ukrainian state official. And Pompeo didn't want to answer that question. He got all defensive and shitty about it. Right. And look, here's my thing, right? With with the Ukraine thing, I've said this before and I'm going to keep I'm I'm going to kind of keep saying it. Uh the Ukraine situation is murky at best. If you're going to impeach him on a phone call, yeah, the Democrats have failed. Um and what you could have gotten him on was the emoluments clause, but you fucking didn't. And you know, now here we are. And so uh I don't think the the Ukraine gate thing is even really real, but uh, it's sort of just another fucking thing for the Democrats to, to sit there and uh, imp- try to impeach him because they don't feel like they have a real candidate that's a centrist that they can run and win, right? Because the populace is who we want and they don't. Um, so in, try, in, in order to try to secure their power, they're going to they're gonna do all of these dumb bullshittery tricks and shit like that. Anyway, uh, so he like left the interview. P- Mike Pompeo leaves the interview walks out and uh an aide tells the uh, the the journalist to meet him in the living room and he like starts screaming at her apparently like so she basically said that he like started freaking out at her and uh like yelled at her and and then and then he was like who cares about ukraine nobody gives a shit about ukraine and then he like pulled out a globe and was like, point Ukraine on the globe to me. Point Ukraine. And I was like reading this article. And it's like, and then, oh, and then they were just like, he used the F word. It's like, no fucking way. Really? Like, yeah. Uh, okay. Maybe we need to chill out. Like adults use the F word. That's the thing that we do. <laughs> And I just kind of had to crack up because it's like, oh yeah, the fucking ex-CIA counterintelligence fucking, the, that guy is, is, is unstable. Oh, I'm shocked. I'm fucking shocked. You know? What I find fascinating is is he's shown his true colors, so let's see what people do with it now, right? Like conservatives, like Trump supporters and stuff. Uh, this guy's screaming at journalists. Like, he doesn't seem like he's put together very well. Um, I get it. Being Secretary of State is a stressful job, but you knew what the job was. If, if you don't have a stock answer and can't deal with pushy reporters, like, bro, then get out of the public eye. Like, I... I have to deal with pushy YouTube commenters sometimes. And I I don't fucking yell at them like, Point India on a map! Do it! Like, in the comments. It's, it's, It's fucking crazy now because it's like, oh good, the, the one mentally unstable person is advising the other mentally unstable person on what to do with foreign affairs in Iran. Is what to do with militarism on a global scale. Cool. 
glad this is what our fucking politics really are. That's exciting. What a fun way to fucking deal with shit, right? Fucking ridiculous. It's just like you fucking yelled at her and pulled a globe out. You're a maniac. What a fucking maniac. Ugh. I want this to go viral just be, just because I want people to like see it. You know? Like that's it. I just want this thing to go viral and everybody just has to go like, "Oh no. Oh, this can't be in charge of things. Oh, this is horrific." You know, like maybe this will fucking pull the wool over people's uh, 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 or, 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 the, or the blanket off people's eyes and it'll wake them up enough to be like, "Oh, we need something better in place." That's the only reason I want this to go viral. How's it going, everybody? Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this video, you will probably also enjoy my live stand-up comedy, and I have tour dates coming up all across the country. I am coming to uh, Vermont. I'm going to be doing a bunch of shows in Vermont. I'm going to be at the Vermont Law School, uh, Middlebury, Vermont, Burlington, Vermont, uh, Bridgewater, Vermont. Uh, I'm also coming to Rochester, New York. Uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, Huntsville, Alabama, Springfield, Missouri, Fayetteville, Arkansas, Springdale, Arkansas, uh, uh, Denton, Texas, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Austin, Texas, and Dallas, Texas. I'm going to be touring all across the country, so if you want to check out those tour dates, grab your tickets, RSVP to these events, uh, you can do so by going to Ramen Noodles Comedy. Dot com. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.com. All of my tour dates are available there. Uh, all of the past episodes of this show, my other podcast, Taboo Table Talk and Forkful of Noodles, are available there as well, uh, if you would like to check out more. Uh, and please uh, hit, the, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, uh, get your notifications uh, to get updated when I put out more videos uh if you guys would 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 like to see more videos from me uh obviously uh but uh but videos like this videos that talk about issues that talk about um deeper topics are usually uh not shown to as many people uh as they would so uh it's uh, very dependent on you guys uh hitting that like hitting the subscribe and and sharing it if you can uh if you share this stuff that would be amazing as well uh, thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate you guys watching this video and checking it out. And we'll, uh, we'll see you on the road.